Hello, Bear, fellow Scorpios. Thank you for stopping by for your weekly tarot forecast for the week of June 29th through July 5th. I am using my Russian tarot of St. Petersburg once again. And what we have showing up for Monday is the Queen of Swords. What I'm hearing on this is heavy heartedness. So Monday, something's going on that has us kind of feeling a little bit weighed down. Um, it's interesting. For some of us, this is going to be relationship issues. And for others of us, this is going to be something that we see going on around us. And as we're feeling weighed down, we're going to be trying to think of ways that we can influence the situation to change it, to make it something that is better. It doesn't seem like for some of us, um, that for the ones of us who are, this is not a relationship issue. This is not necessarily something that affects us personally as much as it affects other people. And we're witnessing those effects on other people and trying to figure out um, from the outside, you know, what can be done to make this better. Okay, so that's what I see coming in on Monday. Now, Tuesday, what we have coming up, Scorpios, is we have the Knight of Cups. Some kind of romantic action Tuesday. Maybe we're contacting somebody we're interested in to let them know that, uh, you know, maybe we can go get some coffee or something. Um, also, this is really, um, could be any type of romantic action. You could be making dinner for somebody special. Um, you could be uh, proposing even. That would definitely be some action. Um, the other thing, though, is that the Knight of Cups is somebody who feels um, they kind of look at the world through rose-colored glasses and they see all of the good. They always see all the silver linings. They always see all the good in people. They kind of minimize any of the negative. I feel like for a lot of us Scorpios on Tuesday, that's really going to be what's going on. We're going to be in that good feeling place of just really looking at the good and minimizing the negative around us. Now, Wednesday, Scorpio, what we have showing up is we have the hanged man. And we have the hanged man right side up. <laughs> so that just means that on Wednesday, we're going to be taking some time to sort of mull things over, to think things through. Something is going to be happening that um, we're going to be basically processing on Wednesday. The hanged man talks about taking some time and being still in order to understand some things. And so that's basically what I see us doing. Now, we could be doing that in meditation. Um, we could be doing that as we're mindlessly playing video games on Facebook and just thinking about the whole situation. But either way, we're giving some thought to some kind of situation, and we're really working through it and figuring out where do we stand in regards to the situation on Wednesday. Now, on Thursday, what we have coming up is the Three of Coins. This is collaborative creativity. That's how I see this. So this could be that Thursday, a lot of you Scorpios are, a lot of us Scorpios are going to band practice. Or maybe we are working on an art class, maybe with other people. Maybe we're working on a mosaic with somebody else. We're working on some kind of creative thing with um, one or more other people on Thursday and this can be a project at work too it doesn't have to be like painting or sculpture or whatever but anything where you're creating a new situation or a new way of being okay so that's Thursday for us Scorpios Friday we have the king of clubs the king of clubs is the ultimate in inspired level-headed action <laughs> So in other words, on Friday, I feel like we're going to feel very inspired to do some things that maybe we haven't done in a while. feels like sometimes for some of us, we haven't done these things in a while. And all of a sudden, we're just going to be like, you know what? I used to really enjoy doing da-da-da-da-da, and we just go do it. So for some of you, actually, I'm getting the sense photography. So for some of you, you're going to dig out your cameras and just go out Friday and just do some, do some photography hunting, hunting for those great shots. Um, let's see. Now, of course, that's pretty specific. That's not going to apply to everybody, but there's going to be some kind of inspired action coming in on Friday for us Scorpios. Now, Saturday, Knight of Swords in Reverse. This is somebody showing up in your life on Saturday. The Knight of Swords in Reverse is talking about um, typically a male, although for some of you, I feel like this will be a female. This is a younger person or maybe not even necessarily younger in years as much as younger in maturity level. So this can be someone who's older who doesn't quite make the best decisions yet. 
Uh, but this is somebody who's coming in who really believes in standing up for their principles and is generally a good and decent person. And they are trying to do something that they think is good and decent on Saturday. Problem is they're kind of going off just half cocked. They have only gotten half the information that drew them into action. And now they are trying to take action in a way that they think is appropriate. And later on, they're actually going to regret. So when you see this person coming, the advice is this get out of the way. <laughs> this is not somebody that you're going to be able to stop or slow down is what I'm hearing as far as taking this action. Uh, but you don't want to be affiliated with them as they're taking this action either. So let them do their thing. You go do your thing as far away from them as possible. <laughs> Sunday. Six of coins. Six of Coins is just telling me that on Sunday you're going to be asking somebody for help. This could be for my financial help. This could be applying for a loan. This could be um, asking somebody for a loan. This could be um, even asking somebody if they can help you with some kind of gift. This can be this can be financial or any type of material goods actually. Uh, but I do see you asking somebody for help. Now this also can manifest in asking for help with a project. It doesn't have to be financial or material goods. It could be literal help with putting something together or doing some kind of project. Um, it could be help with convincing a person of something that you would like to convince someone else of. So lots of different things we can ask for help with. Um, you could even be asking your grandkids to help you make cookies if you're a grandma and you're seeing your grandkids on Sunday. Okay, so Scorpios, that is your week. For those of you who would like to schedule a private session with me, feel free to check out my website. I'm at amista.info, A-M-I-S-T-A dot I-N-F-O. Once you're there and you've looked around, if I still feel like the best reader for you, then get a hold of me. Right now, I don't have a long waiting list. It won't always be that way, but I can probably get it to you the day you contact me or the day after if you get a hold of me right now. And let's see, what else do you need to know? I think that's it. So everybody have a fantastic week. I will see you all here next week. Peace out.